Ciao, welcome to Beatspot. I'm Marco and in this video I am reviewing Loop Mix by Audio Modder, which is a plugin that allows you loading up to six wave loops, uh, audio loops, and kind of chopping them, mixing them, rearranging them, and come up with new ideas. So I want to make a bit with it, so let's see how much it can improve my workflow and my sound. So I have a project template with a draft uh, uh, drum uh, rhythm. So let's listen to it and let's see how we can use uh, loop mix to improve uh, and get started with a nice beat. Okay, so I want to get started with uh, the overheads, the cymbals, uh, the percussion style, and then maybe go with the kick as some more perks, uh, exotic perks. So let's get rid of the Hyatt. Let's create a new MIDI track. So this is the interface and this is my first time using it. So I'm also showing you the learning curve of this plugin. So as far as I know, I have to drag and drop files. So let's get something like some loops. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so now Let's see how it behaves. I want to kind of resize the whole stuff. So nothing is playing now. So this is kind of a, a random stuff I get. Okay. Okay, we have these sequencer stuff, rearrange, I think we can move stuff here and there, okay. And we have some reverse, so how does it work? Okay, clicking is enough, then density, so this should be something like, uh, okay, it's a trigger. Nice. And this is a volume, so we can kind of set the velocity of each hit. And this is a pitch. Okay, that makes sense. And these three dots are kind of a randomizer for each module. And then we have this one, which is a, a redo. It's it kind of blanks the whole effect. And then we have the on off for each module. Okay, let's keep randomizing and let's see if we find something we want. Okay, I think the loops aren't what I'm looking for. So let's get something more. So I want to switch this one, this one, maybe. And then something from here. Okay, so now that I'm good with this starting point, let's do export. And this works as a drag and drop, which is great. And we have this double loop. Okay, now let's make a percussion loop to kind of fill here and there and enrich the loop. So loop mix, let's go to drum loops, and then I want some percussions. So drum fills, drum loops. Okay, we have six sick loops. So now let's see how they do it together. So this is the loop.
let's drag and drop it here. Okay, so now let's work with melodic stuff. I want to take a single loop and kind of chop it and tweak it within loop mix. So this is the plugin. Uh, let's prepare it to be used now. We have this loop here. Okay, we want to kind of loop it here. Okay, that's really nice. Okay, now let's consolidate it. Now I will drag and drop the loop into loop mix and kind of tweak it within it. And I want to rearrange something, so let's try it. Okay, let's export it. Now let's create a baseline. So after a quick arrangement and very quick like basic mastering, here's the final result. So Loopmix is indeed an interesting plugin. It has a learning curve at first, but in the long run, it pays off. And I like it for both drums and melodies. I like it more for drums because it makes more sense. You have random hits and you mix them together, so it's easier. But even for melodic stuff, maybe you jam multiple similar stuff within the same instrument with the same preset and you load everything into loop mix and you get new result so i really like it and if we consider other plugin that kind of retrigger filter reverse um, they are still nice but loop mix has the edge of uh, uploading the loops and mixing them you can do it in your dw but that takes way more clicks to get to the final result you would get within loop mix and the export function is drag and drop and that's like perfect it makes your whole workflow smoother and you can kind of do whatever you want and have it ready within just a drag and drop so that's really a nice uh, workflow improvement uh, below this aspect and i can kind of recommend it for more nerdier and like complex journalists like uh, Nero, drum and bass, glitch up, and, and those kind of genres that require a lot of different things going on here and there. So you can kind of design your patch uh, and make different uh, growls, uh, lasers, and stuff, uh, and mix everything together. And um, that's something that Ableton allows to do easily, but not as easy as loop mix so hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions free to ask in the comment section below and see you in the next